Hi guys, this is Rebby Goldwasser and this video is all about recognizing that you matter, that you matter. A lot of women are in terrible marriages, terrible relationships. They have completely surrendered, acquiesced and accepted this unhappiness, this state of subpar living and I'm here to tell you that you don't deserve that. I'm here to tell you that you deserve more. I'm here to tell you that you have worth. I'm here to tell you that you have a choice and this video is going to be all about tapping into your power and hopefully giving you a, a slight poke and a slight push to really give you a paradigm shift to know that you deserve to be happy. So stay tuned. Hey guys, this is Revy Goldwasser and this video is really meant for a woman who's just at a place of depletion, exhaustion, uh, you know, emptiness almost. You know, there's a lot of women, I myself was married for 20 years and almost accepted this state of subpar existence. I think a lot of women, what happens with us, and a lot of men, by the way, I, I, it can be for any, any sex for that matter, but I will always speak on behalf of the woman, but of course it can be transferred to a man as well. But a lot of us as women, we accept being unhappy. We accept being with a man that's always screaming and yelling and putting us down, calling us stupid and dumb and idiot and worthless and pointless. And we're like, okay, you know, whatever it is, what it is like, we're like, oh, we're going to blow it off. It's not, it's not really what he means. Yeah, it is what he really means. And yeah, it is what he thinks of you and you don't accept it. But we get to this point of lack and exhaustion that we're like, this is my life. This is my lot. This is how it is. It's too difficult to change and you accept it. And what happens is the spiritual and emotional side of you dies and you live a life of lackluster. You live a life of depletion, of exhaustion, and you wonder who you are and you're unhappy and you're sad. And what's the point? What's the point? I got to that point in my marriage at, at the 20th year mark that I was like, I'm miserable. I was always unhappy. The, I, I was like, look at my life. The only thing I was, I was happy about my life were my two sons. Thank God for my two sons. They made it worthwhile living, but this doesn't make any sense. And, and when you are at such a place of lack and such a place of depletion, you have two choices. Okay. You, you as a woman have two choices. You have choice number one to accept it. You're right. You can accept that. I know plenty of women and plenty of women in their sixties and seventies that I've spoken to. And they just said, you know, Revy, it is what it is. I just accepted it. I made the best of it. And that was that. Okay. If that's your decision, fair enough. But I'm here to tell you that there's a much more powerful decision that you can make. There's a much more empowering decision that you can make. I'm here to tell you that you can choose you. I'm here to tell you that instead of choosing the marriage, instead of choosing him, you can choose you. You're allowed to give yourself that permission to choose you. And yeah, it is scary. And yeah, it is difficult. And yeah, you may be completely blind as to how you could even do that, how you can make it, how you can thrive, how you can work, how you can make money, how you'll even do anything. You're right. All those fearful things will be there. But you know what? When you tap into your power, when you tap into your belief system, when you tap into your happiness to, to recognize that you are capable, that you are beautiful, that you are magnificent, that you, uh, that, that you have, uh, you can add value to yourself first, you, you're going to be a new woman. You're going to be a free woman. Why live a life of subpar? Why live a life of being unhappy? Why live a life that you're constantly tiptoeing around him? Why? See, when you start really delving deep into those questions, when you have the guts to face the mirror and stop pointing at him and start pointing at yourself and asking yourself those difficult questions as to why you have accepted this way of life that's absolutely not acceptable because you wouldn't treat your husband like that. I bet you don't treat your husband like that. I bet you don't treat him the way he treats you. And he still goes after you and he still puts you down and he still gives you temper tantrums and it's still not enough. And you're constantly in chaos and drama. You're constantly fighting. Or you're constantly walking on tiptoes in order not to trigger the fight. You're constantly saving him. You're constantly nurturing. You're constantly controlling. You're constantly fixing him. My God, no wonder you're exhausted. It's all about him. It's all about the relationship. It's never about you. 
what, what the hell's going on? I'm here to tell you that if you have the courage to be a fearless woman, and I know you do, if you have the, the, the audacity to say, you know what, I come first, which you should, then your life will change. And I'm not condoning a divorce. I get a lot of hate mail, like you shouldn't be you know, condoning a divorce, you shouldn't be talking about divorce. I don't do that. But you have to know that when it's enough, when you have tried therapy, when you have tried talking, when you have tried everything that you can try out, then yes, if you need to break up with that person or if you need to get a divorce, then you do it. Because at that point, I know, and so should you, that you have tried everything else. No woman gets married in order to get a divorce. No woman stays with a man for 20 years in order to get a divorce. But a woman who finally chooses herself, a woman who finally chooses her happiness, her power, her passion, her life over his, is an empowered woman. And that is what I am all about. So if that's where you're at and you're really ready to tap into your power, whether you're still married or you are divorced and you're still finding feelings of, of why you're subpar or you have issues of your self-worth, all those things to do with empowerment, manifestation, living life on purpose, money, dating, meeting men, all those things, I'm here to tell you that I can help you. So if you're interested in becoming a fearless woman, transforming your life and be a strong woman, God knows I am. I am not afraid to be alone. I am not afraid to be without a man. I, I don't need a man. I want a man. I want a man. Don't get me wrong. And I believe every person deserves a partner to love and be loved. But I don't need him. And that is the paradigm shift. The paradigm shift is to go from wanting, from, wa from needing, which is bad. Being needy is, is, is repulsive. But to want it means you, have, you, you want a man. You don't need a man. And that's where I come in. I teach you how to address your own neediness to eradicate all that and make you a strong and fearless woman so then you attract a healthy man in your life. And you have every right to be happy. You have every right to thrive. And you are a beautiful woman. And you have a lot to give. You have a lot to give to those you love. And you have a lot to give to yourself. But it first starts with you. We work on you. You focus on you. You don't focus on them. You don't focus on the world. You don't go changing the world. You first have to change yourself. So do it because you're worth it. On my notes below, I have a Caramelly link. I offer a 20-minute free session as long as it's still around. I don't know when you're watching the video. Um, based on what happens with time constraints, et cetera, that may change. I may change it to groups. Uh, but whatever link is down there on the Calendly, hopefully it's still the single session with me, take, take me up on it. It's 20 minutes. Even if you don't want to work with me moving forward and just do the 20 minutes, I will change your life. Of that, I can guarantee it. Ciao, guys.